Hey guys, welcome to our YouTube channel. I'd like to invite everybody to like and subscribe. We're almost to 800 subscribers. I really like to get to a thousand here for long. Uh, uh, we gonna make. I see some pretty mountain views driving down. We're down in Clinton County, Kentucky today. Well, it's our neighboring county. It's not really that far from where we live, but see some beautiful mountain views and thought I'd get it on camera. It's, this is a little town. I'm gonna sell a big town compared to this. It's a spot road here, but it's still very, very old school. Take you back nine, but uh, it's uh, got some very pretty mountains in it. And I thought I'd get them on camera for you guys this morning. It likes mountains. Uh, there's the old courthouse. They never got a new courthouse. Most of Kentucky got a new courthouse. They're getting ready for their uh, fall festival they have down here with that window to make it look yellow. I don't window down there cleared up there. And, uh, yeah, that's their old courthouse. And uh, some kind of Baptist organization uh, founded this county back in the 1700s. Uh, I read on their sign where I founded this and Cumberland County. And they split them off. And I don't remember what the guy's name was. The history, don't want the name. She in the history. I thought it was pretty cool. Uh, just a little small town. The only one we got dry, it's still dry. All the rest of them went wet in the, on the border towns down here. All the border towns used to be dry. I mean, border in Tennessee. We, we ain't five miles off Tennessee line right now. I'm static Tennessee 111. If you go back and watch that one video. Uh, hold on, man. I got a call coming in. Who else got cell phone get spam risk calls? I mean, that's what her iPhone shows up. Spam, her iPhone shows up spam risk. And, uh. I usually say it's not just a video with it, but I'll use it for or the local computer. But anyway, here comes Mama. We'll drive around the town, then I'll show you the mountains, guys. Oh yeah, Mama won a prize too. We gotta go pick up. She won a prize. You're live, Mama. You got a spam risk call. Huh? I said you live. You got a spam risk call. I have no makeup on. Oh, you had no makeup on. Well, they wouldn't have known you wouldn't have told them. <laughs> Bubby had a black shirt on yesterday. Squirrel hunting it looked orange, yellow, or maroon. maroon, and then it jet black. Oh, go watch it. I'll drive them around town. Anyway, yeah. All right, I sold a bunch more of my little Macs. So I, I did sell a big pile of big Macs, but I sold it up selling the guy, the same guy, a big pile of, well, a pretty good bunch of little Macs, too pretty good lump sum of money paid for him too and uh i guess he's a diehard collector out in washington dc uh, one thought they'd been a storm pre repeller bait collector up there but i guess they are uh, i don't know i sold him some up around a hundred dollars a piece and they're averaging about sixty dollars a piece and some of them ain't some of them i didn't get 10 15 dollars a piece for but it's okay, some of my lost little money on too. Let's circle the town here. Well, I'm just circling around, can't cut it right away. Yeah, I'm gonna stop. The town goes in a circle, it goes two lanes this way, and it's just the old town part. They a little more of it below. There's their only post office that I know of. Monticello Bank Company, which is the, they still some old buildings down here. The town goes just circles right around. You now, most mind you, a town down in Alabama or somewhere, don't it? The town does, yeah. It's laid out like them. Two lanes on this way. You can run either side. And uh, you can go on. Well, we're right on Dale Holler Lake, too. That's true. Uh, the Clint, Clint, you got Lake Cumberland and Dale Holler. I figured it'd be the booming town because it had Lake Cumberland and Dale Holler in, in with eight miles of it, you know. That goes to Dale Holler, one part of the Dale Holler uh, there. Then you just circle around here or you can go on down through there and there's a little bit more town down through there. There's a Pizza Hut, a McDonald's, no, McDonald's up this way. There's a few little stuff down here. See, so we circled right back around. Now I feel we're in this lane here. See, no passing there. And right there's where we took off from. There's the courthouse. And pretty cool. And circle right back around. I ain't got no, uh, I think I got one or two police officers. And, all very few deputies and they're old men <laughs> i mean they ain't got much law enforcement no they do much like raids on drug busties and stuff they use wayne county they gotta use wayne county jail they have no jail they do have a nice hospital older i mean bigger hospital in wayne county 
I mean, it, it's not as big as Monticello, but it's not that small. It ain't got a Walmart. It ain't got a Walmart. Is that a Dollar King or Market? Well, that is Walmart. It is Walmart pretty much. Uh, but, uh, of course, uh, Wayne County getting all the our McDonald's. Got a little fertilized place down there at Poplar and a, for the farmers and a IGA. That's about it. We're out of town now. <laughs> I'll show you some of the mountains up there, man. They some beautiful mountains up there. But anyway, Mama won a prize. What did you win, Mama? A gift card. A gift card from the local drugstore. Well, we get our medicine. They had water. Customer big Our customers day. appreciation day. Customer appreciation day yesterday. Had drawing for a gift card, TV, and a few more gift cards. A few more gift cards. But now, where I grew up at, ain't many people related to it. There ain't no people related to people in Clinton County, are they? They're like a separate group of people down here. But it ain't that far. It's a lot closer than Blasky County, as owner said. It ain't that far. Clinton County from our house, like, I, according to what way you come, 14, 15 miles down here from our house. We're eight miles from Monticello. But the mountains down here are something it, breathtaking. That's what I was going to view this morning. I'm still rolling. I, I'm hoping I can get them. I know I can get them coming down here. I seen them this morning. They were so pretty. I was like, well, I've got to get them on video. It's your video on coming down. Not these, these here are pretty. That's the ball field in there. High school there. He's very big. They shut their school down for a little while, didn't they? All right, hang on a minute, guys. I'll get in this mountain view. It's not take up as much time. See ya. I don't know if I can, I don't know if I camera do any justice for them. There's some beautiful mountains back in there, guys. I don't think the camera do any justice for them. We're going up the road here, that's pretty too. You just have to see it out of your own eyes. Clinton County's a beautiful county, it is. It's got some big valleys and just big mountains. Barbecue pit, not that good. Supposed to be one of the best in the country, but not that good. The road we're on right now is US 127. We're on the old 127. We'll be getting out on the new 127 here in a It goes to Albany. Goes up, goes across Wolf Creek Dam. We're not that far from Wolf Creek Dam either. But look up to there, guys. That's a beautiful high mountain place. But they do out there in Wayne County, too. I, I'm pretty just Wayne County's the prettiest county, but Clinton County's running close to second because further you get over in eastern kentucky it really ain't pretty it's just up one mountain down another like where we snake hunt at and stuff over macquarie county stuff it really ain't pretty either one clint wayne county the appalachian county if you want to see pretty i think it's a it, i mean you just you're either in a holler or <laughs> you're in a valley then you're back up on a mountain you ain't got these big long valleys like you do down here then the big mountains that's what makes this so pretty down here Hold on a minute, guys. Yeah, here's the new 127. Then we run into 90. 90 back to Monticello. Might be some pretty shots up here. Yeah. Yeah, if you ain't in the... Uh, I mean, yeah, of course they are. Well, they're no more mountain people we are, but I mean, they're just... That's pretty far to It's just the mountain thing is pretty. Further east, further east you go in Kentucky, the ugly it gets. A lot of mudslides and just a lot of poor people and well not really but no nah, i wouldn't say they'd be poor people very right? up there yeah you got a cousin that was probably worked for rock quarry that's all rock quarry behind that whole mountain right there about a five mile long rock quarry oh you can see the top of them right there yeah see them mountains back there i hope the camera's picking them up i can't do much with it and dry we turn it off we cut across here shorter uh, we had a 42 degree morning, so leaves will start changing before long, guys. But uh, it, it's pretty much poor all the way through. Probably from Bowling Green, Kentucky, all the way over. It's a lot of poor people, small counties, and a lot of farmland here where they ain't got it over further on over in eastern Kentucky. That makes us, we got a lot more agriculture land than they do. A lot more deer, a lot more wildlife. And stuff, but uh, just I like I said, hey, you once pass Wayne County, Clinton County, up it just gets up one holler down there. Backer wise, raised that sun didn't hit our house to 10 30 in the morning, 
That's Eastern time. Get some more pretty mountains. That make this a Appalachia Mountain video probably. Then I won't do no more till the leaves start changing. It was just so pretty that sun out today and in a fall day like this. It's uh, 62 right now. That's in the sun. It looks a little, actually a little colder than the air temperature is. But yeah, as I say, it's, 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 people in here's got more opportunity to make money, more farmland. I mean, you know, it just, you don't see this over far eastern Kentucky. I mean, West Virginia, it's just up one mountain down another. And here you got the big valley that makes it so pretty. So pretty in Wayne County. Well, now the eastern part of Wayne County starts getting rugged. Don't know where I was born at and where we got our snake hunting stuff at. It starts getting pretty rugged, but uh, see all Lake Cumberland lays down in a big holler. That's why it's a deeper lake. I got a bunch of them on here like some mountain pictures, and I'm trying my best to get them, guys. It is pretty down there. You just have to drive through here and see it with your naked eyes, and we'll definitely get shot up when the leaves are coming off. We'll change. I don't know. If, I'll have to go back and watch the video and see how good it is. Got. Bubby got his first squirrel. Brayden got his first squirrel yesterday. When we got that on camera, got the kill shot and everything on camera. That was fun. But there's over in the mountains and I can't hardly climb back up. <laughs> so, I need to go back out to that old home place and hunt around the pasture field so we don't have to climb some bigger mountains. Or just straight up and down in our house. And I don't believe there are that many squirrels. Oh, guys, look here. It's look, two of them. Now, what's the mama doing, baby? Get, 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 y'all gonna get killed, get, 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 this is Laura. <laughs> Did they go? That's the last year of with her baby. That's her first baby, I'd say. She can't be doing that. Boy, there's a pretty mountain head of us. I'd say I got that on camera, did mm -hmm. Yeah, he run a 70, 80 mile air up there. Somebody knocked her from London. I, I just had took off, or I went back on 90, look at them mountains. Well, they just are beautiful. I mean, the eyes. I mean, I've had people say it's more prettier than the Smoky Mountains. We just got these big mountains, uh, big valleys. It's just the further east you go, the more you get in. Like I say, the more you just, there's not no valleys. It's just got a little holler, and that's it. And uh, over where we snake hunt, it's pretty, but it's just up one mountain, there's a little holler, and back up another mountain. Y'all just got, don't see it at nighttime, but we can't video on it. But this here's a whole lot prettier country, really. You got your mountain plus a, well what made it better for people over here they got all the agricultural land. It used to be backer country to here, it's all of them, that's corn soybean. Tobacco country, that's what it all used to be. It's, yeah. Good rich fertile ground down here too. All the way through here. Like I say till you get to the eastern end of Wayne County, then it starts and Macquarie County, it starts getting really, really mountainous then. Of course, you're going to get the same view in Northeast Tennessee, too. I mean, cause we're just right across the border. Right? I'm pointing the camera. Why I'm pointing the camera back this way, I'm pointing it back in Tennessee. You can probably actually see some of them mountains in Tennessee. But uh, if I was moving, I wouldn't move directly in eastern Kentucky or eastern Tennessee. It's just too many mountains. Eastern Tennessee is better than eastern Kentucky, first pretty wise. Uh, I like it like it is here. It's clear off it. Thing over there. And right there was I was talking about was the prettiest. Right there, I can't get them. I, I cannot get them mountains. I want to get the top of them over here. Them mountains just laid there. It's a big old mountain. Yeah. It just ain't showing up what I wanted it to. I believe I could have got it coming the other way. Good. But, uh, yeah, look at that. You can still see, like, you see all eating corn. They got corn growing everywhere down there. Corn, soybeans. So, yeah, that kind of helps us, but or helps our economy, I guess. Oh yeah, now I see it back there. It's still the same mountain region back in there. But I just can't get it this way like I thought it could. Got a bad water leak up here. Get it on camera here. They them poor guys, they have water squirting. I bet they cold. Yeah, the main water line broke there. <laughs> he had water, we come up there and walk over. Poor... Yeah, well, imagine the main line broke. They tried to fight and get back. Everyone was soaking wet. Oh, Lordy. Yeah, well, I've had a break there in the main water line. 
if he's more mountain back here or not. But just driving up his road, you think it's flat country. Now we're back in the Wayne County. Now Daniel Boone. I would have believed, which this was full of Indians right through here. It's, I mean, they were a lot of Cherokee Indians in this country. A lot of them because fertile hunting grounds, a lot of valleys, and, you know, not as many mountains and just better terrain in that over eastern Kentucky. But I still yet believe Daniel Boone would have been over in here too because I don't know how he could have been over there and not come over there and get as much prettier country and flatter over there. Monticello is a beautiful town too because it's surrounded by all the big mountains. All the way around it, it sits in that valley, actually sitting on a cave, to tell you the truth. Uh, you can see some of the mountains here coming up the head of us. Turn back on here, see if we pick up some. It's the Otter Creek here. We're not far from our house now, about four miles. They kind of built this road to bypass the mountains a little bit. I'll tell you something about the people around here old, that they can't do off from here and they can survive on very little people can. Something about Eastern Kentucky over here, it's poor, but people can survive on very little. I, I say that about Kentucky. I'm gonna tell you the truth, the average income right now for 50 percent or great greater than that i'd say 75 percent of wayne county macquarie county clinton county the average income be from eleven thousand to eighteen thousand dollars a year that'd be their average income other than you big farmers and you know what i'm saying you loggers and stuff like that and sawmills there ain't much of that going on right now that are farming still going oh, here's a pretty mountain that mountain there lies down toward the house. That really beautiful mountain. They just kind of picked their way through here. This old trail, old wagon trail that made it the road. It's swampy over there. Now this is heavy, heavy Civil War ground right over there. The Indian mound up on top of that mountain right there. They buried them on the Indian mountain. They see they fit hard right through here. Civil War did. South, when they was fighting towards Mill Springs, they fit through here too, all the way up into Mill Springs. Now you ain't what 10, 11 miles Mill Springs now. They fit hard all the way up through here. There's all kinds of Civil War relical. You could dig out of ground, they plow them up there all the time, and the Indians. But Civil War left this place a bloody mess. They fit hard all the way up to what is Camp Nelson, Kentucky. Yeah, I went around Lexington, but uh, we lost. Wayne County definitely lost. They got beat there in that mountain. Yeah, they fit hard through here. This is one time the soldiers, uh, the the south marched north here, the north marched, I don't know what they done, but they fit through here. The only thing that I heard, the only thing we had to fit right through here on the, from Wayne County was the militia groups because we went to uh, Bowling Green or Clinton or Glasgow so Bowling Green on Bowling Green went down Tennessee and helped them out our National Guard did and uh, the militia groups had to fight through here they both fit dirty they burned a lot of people's houses and stuff the North did and stole their food innocent people didn't have nothing to do with it they both fit dirty. South would have beat them if we, they'd had the guns. I'm telling you. If they'd had the gun and firepower of the north, they would have beat them. But uh, used to be all Democrat country, now it's all Republican country. <laughs> it is. In years ago, back in the 1800s, it was all Democrat country through here. All the old, old people, Democrats, ain't they from? I mean, the real, real old ones, yeah. Yeah, they're all Democrats. It's all my family was to my dad and them. They switched over to Republican. But the real old people are all Democrats. That Southern pride thing, we don't have it. This town's still segregated, but for what reason, I don't know. So, but, uh, just a couple little community of black people stuck around when the slave days is over. They ain't many here. 
down south there's a lot, you know, where they had the Civil Wars and stuff at, but uh, about all of them here's good people. We don't ever hear nothing on them. And they live in their own little neighborhood, so that's okay. Not many, but yeah, Wayne County, one well, well, mile south of in between them towns, or in between them mountains, in between towns, in between these mountains, it's all it's, it's really pretty. It's, but uh, I know quite a bit about the southern history of Wayne County. A lot of slate walls and stuff. We call them slate walls, rock walls, and stuff around Monticello, where the slaves built them and stuff back then. All that stuff. It's definitely a Civil War place, and it's got a lot of Civil War history. It even dates back into my family big time on my dad's side. Then the Spanish flu come through and killed about all them out, but they owned slaves and stuff, but that was, then, uh, like I say, they was all Democrats. They wasn't no Republicans back here, so that's what kills me, all these hollering Democrats. The one one was Democrats was a slave. Well, your Southern people was Democrats. They was not Republican. Democrats wouldn't put the black people into slavery. Republicans set them free. And uh, you see the mountain back there now over shadowed Monticello. The Monticello sitting there in that valley right in between the mountains. It's real pretty. But yeah, we're like, these little towns here are like 95% Republican now. Probably probably not more than that. Probably not even that many Democrats now. Probably four Republicans. Uh, maybe some independents scattered around. Unless they're new people moved in, but uh, yeah, that's about the story on that right there. It just all swapped around. Uh, but uh, yep, and welcome to Monticello. It's pretty, pretty mountain. Like I say, it lays here in this mountain, like it mountains all the way around Monticello. It's a pretty town. But I'm gonna get out here for long and make some. Uh, let, let the leaves change a little more. I mean, it's a pretty day today. Like the sun, high and bright, the sky no clouds, much. And I hope y'all can see that mountain as good as we are. And you can kind of see the Monticello lays here in this valley right here. You got mountain over there, mountain back there, and the double white trailer there. But mountains all the way around anymore. Just, yeah. It's circled by mountains, yeah. You got the mountains over that way. But uh, if you're in the Civil War history, he's, he's right here's the place to come. What we got going on up here, a little logs this evening. I'm going to go over this other lane. Yeah. Somebody breaks down. Oh, well, I don't know. Mama's getting all duty up to go get her price. I know it, what it is. I just wonder how much they give you. Oh, that's a Candido's little bitty truck. Blow tar out on the front. Hmm. Must be one of them little haul trucks that them. What do they call it? Hauling they do? Them little logs. He just hauling from down there to the yard up to the mill. Tie logs. Mainly what he's got on there. Hey, it's all tie logs. Yeah, that's all. He's done a whole load of tie logs. Yeah, he's way overweight. They don't, you don't see that up north places. He just hauled across town. You walk four or five bunks on her, probably five bunks in tie logs. And there's a girl walking down the road. Never see that much here either. Down here on the main road. Or a woman. Yeah, you look well back there you're getting back towards the lakes. No out. Marcel's got his own White House too. Nah, that's for the chicken factory. That's something big here, the poultry and chickens. Lord have mercy. We got all image. We got chicken houses. We got chicken houses out there hind in there ain't with eight hundreds of them. Golly, back what was it, 2010? Me and you was together. We was married. When he when that big snow come and knocked them all down. Oh Lord, it destroyed a lot of them. You got ice and chicken. They said, where it comes from? You go to McDonald's and get your chicken nuggets. It's water raised. We can take you right to the factory. What well, in Clinton County ain't. Where they kill them at. <laughs> yep. See where he is. We used to be the houseboat capital of the world. Now we're the chicken killing capital. <laughs> or the chicken raising. We do, uh, they do eggs too, but they mainly kill for Tyson. Well, it's a uh, kegel's what we call it, but it's Tyson chicken what it is now. 
Yeah. Then we got Avium Farm too. We got two companies here. Drug store and liquor store. They always we go to the liquor store by drug store. I tell you, something, I got to tell a story about that while you go there and get that, get your prize. Yeah. That Crown Liquor Store. I rode a window down. All right, see Crown Spirit there. A year ago, guess what that was? It was it. Well, no, I'm lying. It was for the pandemic. That was a church. <laughs> now it's a liquor store. Turned the church into a liquor store. Yep. Sure was. I forget the name of it. It's kind of a little church they had in it. I don't know who had it or anything like that. They moved up here in the bigger parking lot, but not the liquor store. Was a church, not the liquor store. So, yep. I really don't pay much attention to it going wet. It does look a little weird. This, this is the beer first year being wet because we live in Florida and places and traveled all over the world. Somerset's been wet a long time, so it, let's see what she's got here when she comes out. Here she comes. I need to have to get her. Uh oh, see what she got. She'll be happy. Yeah, they had a they get free food away, hot dog and stuff here yesterday and stuff. Our customer appreciation day. What is it, Molly? Gotta get your glasses out. Did you tell them that was rigged that your cousin owned that business that you got the car from? That's the funny thing. She won the car from my cousin's store that I've never been into. It's actually my cousin's boy, my first cousin's boy store. Ten dollars giveaway. That's what I figured it'd be five or ten dollars. Ten or fifteen dollars. Ten dollars winning that wildflower market. I don't know what all she does. I'm gonna fix it go find out. Right now? Yes. You got more money? Yes. I need that hook right now. Well, right there was one of our main big businesses here went out. That was Belden's War Company there for years and people had good jobs. It's gone now. I think uh they building they're trying to build trailers in there or something now. Gator trailers I think. Or something like Gator Trailer. I think it's that company out of Tennessee doing it on that Fitzgerald. Fitzgerald guy owns it now, owns that uh, uh, Ken Work Company down there. Can you say it's out here? Yeah. What side of the road? Your side. My side. That'd be the left side. We'll see. Well, you can get a pretty sharp mountains out through here. Maybe. Maybe we can see them. I hope the mountain showed up good. I get a little, I'm not a history buff, but I love history. I don't remember what you were talking about on that. He must it's bought. Right he must bought this building in the building right there. Yeah. Right there. Oh, so they got one of old prehistoric buildings here, huh? Yeah. Huh. I say he bought that, honey. And probably they're not open, are they? They're not open, no. huh? Oh, no, no, neither says the sign don't say open. They're open. How do you know they're open? Because they're open. I say he bought that and rents them apartments out and probably pays for his business with. All right, guys, mama's gonna come here and eat. Guys, we'll catch you on the next week. We're gonna go in here and eat our gift card up. We'll probably run in some family members in here. My family owns it, cousin. And we'll catch you on the next week. And uh, please like and subscribe to our channel. Get us out there. Hopefully, this video will turn out good. And, uh, We'll bring you some more as soon as these leaves start changing. May God bless. Catch you on the next one, guys.